Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. These Team of the Season cards and the content inside of La Liga Tots is absolutely insane. Yesterday, day one, was absolutely nuts. I want to take a look and talk about everything that happened yesterday. A lot of crazy market movements with the cards that are in packs now, these La Liga Team of the Season cards, but also cards around the rest of the market dropped a lot. Some of them rebounded really well. We did make a lot of coins yesterday. We also lost a lot of coins trying to quick flip some cards in that first hour when there was so much supply because of that token pack that was in the store. So I want to talk about that and also just kind of have a slight discussion. Is this La Liga team of the season better than the Premier League team of the season that was released just a couple of weeks ago. I feel like that week was really, really hype, but the players that are out, the SBC for Isco yesterday, the objectives for guys like Ansu Fati, just the hype is real for a lot of these cards. I want to take a look at that. And of course, these packs are back. The 35% packs, that's kind of what we call them, right? The, the packs that were so um, you know, impacting to the prices of Bundesliga Tots cards last week, the Bundesliga specific packs, they're back this week for La Liga. 28% chance of a Tots player from the 84 plus star duo packs. So we want to take a look at some of these La Liga Tots cards, all the content in general. And just some of like the foot um, or the tot swap token, kind of how that was going down. A lot of people opened their 84 times 25. Some of them were great. Some of them were not great. Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. And then we'll take a look at to what could maybe happen today on Saturday. Usually Saturdays are a bit slow over day. A lot of people going out, finishing their weekend leagues, playing their games and getting a lot of that stuff that done. But there should be a lot of market movement still today on the game as well. So if you're hyped for La Liga team in the season, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. We have to start off by just taking a look at this team. I mean, these players that were released yesterday, EA came through with some pretty awesome skill move and weak foot upgrades on a few of these cards and some um, work rate changes as well. 98 Benzema, high, medium, with the five-star weak foot, three 0.9 million coins currently on the PlayStation. This guy has so much hype. It is unbelievable. Um, but what an insane card with that five-star weak foot, with the high medium work rates, with the in-game stats that he has. He just looks absolutely disgusting and so, so, so good. Probably up there as one of the best, if not maybe the best striker in the game and really, really hyped at this moment. I do think that some of these cards are a little expensive, but... What EA did, and we talked about it in yesterday's video, we were saying that if it's really going to be a hype day of content, EA have to find a way to make a lot of these cards pretty cheap so that people can buy them and put them in their teams. And they did that. And that's why I think some of these cards are cheaper than what we expected them to be. Militao, 500k. Kunde, 300k. Alaba's 200,000 coins. Araujo's 100k. Like, he's he's really, really cheap. Fakir is 208,000 coins. Of course, you do have, like, Benzema, Vinny, and Joao Felix, who are all over a million coins, and Pedri as well. So we've got four cards that are over a mil, and then we've got Modric at 900,000 coins. So I said there might be five. There actually was only uh, four, but... It, yesterday really was just all centered around the card prices for these La Liga Tots cards. What really impacted these cards so much in the first hour and even in the hours after that was the token pack being added to the store. And like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I had to, I said like there's they're going to find a way to make these cards kind of cheap because with the juice that they're giving them, with the hype that these cards have, they're going to find a way to make them pretty cheap because if they make them cheap, that you know causes havoc on the rest of the market. And that just brings hype to the game and to the promo and people wanted to change out their teams uh, with stuff like that as well. So this pack right here, the La Liga Essentials pack, which gives you seven 80 plus players from La Liga with the guaranteed 84 plus, you get the TOTS swap token. That's why a lot of people go out and do it. And then you do get a player pick of a couple TOTS players on loan. It's 100,000 coins or 500 FIFA points, right? A, a normal 100,000 coin pack is 2,000 FIFA points, but they make this one just so cheap that you can, oh, I'll put on 500 FIFA points. I'll do that. Or I'll spend 100K coins to get that tot swap token. I've never opened one of these and I'm not going to do it. But I know a lot of people did yesterday and that is why you saw so much supply early on in those first couple of hours. It wasn't just like the first 30 minutes or for the first you know, 20 minutes as sometimes it is. Cards like this Modric started off at like one point, I think it was like 1.2 mil in the first hour. He was absolutely over a million coins. He got to 900K and he just kept dropping. I actually picked up two Modric yesterday about an hour and a half after the content dropped. 
he hit a low point after all of those people were selling. I picked up two Modric at 760K. Yes, he was that low, 760K. He's rebounded all the way back up to 900 to 950. Right now, he's around that 900,000 coin mark. Uh, also, first hour, I tried to flip some Koundes, right? Koundé now is 300,000 coins. I, I bought some of these in the high 300s, like 380. He, he didn't rebound up. So I took the cash on a small fluctuation upwards, and I lost some coins there. But a lot of the rest of the market was panic sold because of how cheap this La Liga team was. I bought Kimmich at 780. I bought a bunch of Van Dykes at uh, 560 to 570. Yes, those are correct prices that you're hearing me say. Uh, there were a lot of really, really good flips from yesterday. Uh, some cards that we had to sell on the hype and some cards like dropped a lot, but a lot of your La Liga specials kept going up as well. This Ferran Torres, I bought at 288. He's now 400K. I sold Busquets too early. He went to 270, 280. Uh, so just there's tons of market movement still happening on this game right now. But specifically with these La Liga Tots cards, as we're, I'm looking at them right now early on this Saturday morning, late Friday night, early Saturday morning, they were just running those 28% high percentage packs, but the cards really aren't down that much. Fakir at 208 is kind of low. Militao at 512 is kind of low. So these cards have dropped off a bit. I do think you'll see some of them rise back up into the day. Uh, as you can see, Militao was like 560. He was actually 540. He rebounded to 600 and then has been dropping. He was all the way down to 500K flat. And he's, he's getting kind of rare. This is one of the most, if you look at the popular page on Footbin, um, you know, Fakir and Militao are usually right there at the top. You know, right now Militao is not quite there. But I do think that some of these cards, especially the more rare ones, the more hype ones, a guy like Militao, a guy like Felix, who's actually really, really rare. It's kind of crazy. Felix went from 1.2 to 1.5 mil at one point uh, during the day yesterday. Some of these guys will rise up this morning, I think, with uh, people waking up and going out to play some foot champs and to get some games in. And uh, maybe even some of the Saudi League tots too. I would be looking for those fluctuations on a guy like Talisca, who is down so much, 760, at the moment for Talisca. So some of these cards are down because people are, are, are selling because they're finishing their weekly games for the night or whatever. Uh, and then you'll have some people wake up today and, and start to go out and, and play some of those games again. And there'll be demand for some teams just like we normally see on a, on a Saturday morning. So I think that's part of the issue and part of what's going on with this market right now. But since these La Liga Tots car cards are kind of cheap, that impacted the rest of the market a lot too but let's just stick to the content before we talk more market uh we had an absolutely insane spc drop yesterday that i think so many people are going to try to incorporate into their teams this week as they make squads around loud league of players because not only is our spc insane but our objective card is insane as well isco with a five star skill move boost four star weak foot 92 pace there was actually a flashback Isco leak about 10 minutes before the content drop and the predicted stats showed him at like 84 pace and we were like nah there's no way this card's going to be hype if he has 84 pace but again EA wanted to make it a hype day yesterday so they go out and they make an Isco with five star skills 92 pace 96 dribble this card is unbelievable I know he's got medium low work rates may I remind you R9 has medium low work rates and he's insane I think this card in game is going to be so good with that five star skills four star weak foot he's got 90 um what is it 96 agility 95 balance he's got like all 90s everywhere his dribbling looks absolutely fantastic he does have the average body type but he's five foot nine he's got the technical dribbler outside foot finesse shot flare trait his finesse shots are going to be cracked with 97 curve he's going to feel really really good in game he's only about 300,000 coins to do it which i think is really really craftable really craftable you're going to be able to do him and he links to basically everybody in the team whether it's Vinny or whether it's Modric whether it's Canales as like a absolutely insane card for 50k inside of La Liga Tots he links to just about everybody so I think that card is great and then going into the objective side of things we did end up getting a Tots Moments Fati which for a free left wing free you, you have to win or 10 matches is what, is what it takes to get this done in the live foot friendly La Liga links so many people are going to go ahead and get this Ansu Fati done. I believe it's golden goal. So just kind of like Sule last week, this is the card you're going for this week. Absolutely insane card to get from objectives for free. Again, like a always free, right? Because it takes time instead of coins. But that's a really, really great card. Four-star, four-star Fati, great in game. We also got a Jesus Navas card that you can get in squad battles. 
not that amazing, but still solid. Uh, so this Fati and the Isco from yesterday were just two cards that I think, besides the cards that were in packs, are absolutely incredible. And, I, and that's those two aspects of the market yesterday and with how cheap this La Liga Tots team is with the great cards that you can get for such low prices, it has people out there changing up their teams and putting these cards in their squads and it's affecting the market a lot. And that's why I'm sitting here saying, I really think that this Tots team and the hype with this stuff and this content right now is borderline either like right at the level of the Premier League Tots hype or maybe even in, like increasing above the amount of hype that we had for Prem Tots because these cards are incredible. They're so, so, so awesome. And I think everybody's loving them right now with the new and fresh cards in the game. But with that, like we were just saying, the other parts of the market are being impacted a lot too, right? Bundesliga Tots cards just went out of packs yesterday, but they're like all down. They are all down in price because of the of the hype for the brand new ones. Drew Bellingham's 2.8, Holland 3.30, Verts is 3.60. This is why I wasn't a huge fan of investing in these guys out of packs because it just seemed like EA was setting up for a really big weekend of La Liga Tots. So I'm glad I didn't, didn't invest in any of these, but I still think they're very tradable. They're very flippable, right? Davies was 260. Um, a, a lot of these cards right now in the late night are actually hitting lows that they did yesterday at the content drop with all the panic selling. Davies was 315K, went down to 260. It says 280, but he was actually 260. He rebounded back to 300 as people went out and started playing weekend league. And now th these cards have kind of dropped off again. And Davies is back down to 260. You know, I do think there's still enough hype in these cards if you want to try to trade uh, and flip some of them. Like, I'm looking at this Lewandowski. I mean, Lewandowski yesterday was 640K, went down to 580, went right back to 640 just because he's super rare. And still, a lot of people are going to be using some of their red picks, some of their untradeables from the Bundesliga Tots team that they had uh, from their rewards last week or that they packed in their guarantees. So I'm looking to maybe trade with a few of these cards today. I think the market will be pretty healthy today on Saturday just because the fact that they ran so many lightning rounds, so many coins were put on the market. People have coins right now um, in FIFA because of all those lightning rounds and those packs that were open. But like, look at Prem Tots cards, right? Salah, 2.1. Mane, 3.1. Sun is 650. I sold Van Dyke at like 630 to 640. He's back down to 590, but he is a very, very rare card. Like, look at this drop off, right? 670 down to 570, down 100K. He did bounce back up, right? I'm going to go take a look at Van Dyke right now, actually, because if this card is anywhere near like 580 or 590, which he is, then I'm going to get really interested because he is incredibly, incredibly rare. And this is the type of card. Look at that, man. I mean, like, what? There's a couple cards here to like 600K. That's it. Five. I'm just literally just going to buy all these right now because I think Van Dyke's going to be 630, 640 again this morning just because of how rare he is. People want to wake up and they play weekend league. and But that's just kind of why you see the panic like this happening on the market at the moment is because, um, you know, it's new cards. New cards are out and people want to try those instead of the old ones that they were using. And that's why you saw a lot of the market get sold off yesterday and then bounce back. Now, some of your La Liga out of pack special cards, it's a mixed bag. It's really, really, really a mixed bag because you have some of these cards that were very over-invested in like Militao. He is down at like 140,000 coins. He is in the mud bad. This guy was 220K. He's down to 150 with the new Militao card out. I also think one of the reasons this dropped was because there's four center backs in the team with Militao, Kunde, Alaba, and Araujo all being in the side. Um, Militao was one of the only La Liga center backs that people used besides Kunde before this, at least at more of an, a, a meta sense. And I think that having four new cards out and all of them being kind of cheap really dropped off the Militao price yesterday. But it's, it's a mixed bag, like I said, right? Because you have other cards like the Foot Captain's Busquets, who was 140,000 coins last week and is now almost 300k over 300,000 coins. Yeah, 300k for this Busquets card because of the Fati link and because of all the other links that he has and just being an out of packs item that wasn't over invested in. So, you know, some other cards that I have on my transfer list, I sold a few of them yesterday, like the Foot Birthday Fakir got absolutely destroyed in price. He went from like 170k down to 120. He does have the five star skills, but the new Fakir is better. So that's why there was some panic selling there. 
Um, but like I still have my, where's my Vinny Juniors? I still have my Vinny Juniors that I bought in the low 700s. Uh, and he was 900K for a quick second yesterday. And now he's about 860. But since since the Tots Vinny is 5.2 million coins, I'm not in a hurry to sell, right? A lot of the other cards that I have, I have some Depies at 270. I have some Melitos at 287,000 coins. This guy's basically 400K. I'm probably still going to hold off on these a little bit longer just because they're they're flat out rare. And I think that I'll have an opportunity to sell those maybe. Uh, I think today we might get, I don't know if it's on Saturdays or Sundays that we usually get the uh, the Tots Cup. I think that's actually on so on Saturdays, I believe. So we might have the La Liga Tots Cup today and, and that could be some more demand for those out of pack special cards from the oh my goodness this level went on no bid for 463 wow that makes me feel dumb for not checking that price things that happen late night on the market yep that happens here anyways um you know that that makes me think that we might have some more la liga special hype today on the game uh with maybe those cards rising up a little bit more but regardless today on saturday i think you're gonna see some of these tots cards uh, rise up as people go out and they play weekendly games, whether it's an out of packs, you know, Premier League, Bundesliga Tots card. So if you want to trade a little bit, you might be able to. 750 for Taliska. That's really, really low uh, late night prices right now. But regardless, the reason why we're having all these price fluctuations and all these movements is because the content was just so stinking good yesterday after that token pack, after everything that went on. It was just awesome, right? It was a con it was a content Friday that was so so good, and part of what made it good too was the hype around the tots swaps. A lot of people doing the 84 times 25, and I'll be honest, we opened a bunch of these on stream. We also opened a bunch of the Premier League tots player picks. These were really hit and miss. I think we opened like five of them, and we got a Cancelo and we got a Van Dyke as our best ones. The other three were really bad. Like Ruben Diaz was the best pick, um, and then the 84 times 25s. The Tots drop weight on these just didn't seem that good. Like we did pack a Modric and somebody else in the stream packed a Joao Felix. It wasn't on a share play. Um, but like a lot of people were just packing like, you know, maybe a De Tomas or maybe a Courtois and then a, a Saudi Tots in behind and that was it. So maybe I still think I'm going to try to get 15 tokens to do this 8425. But I really think that I'm just going to wait on it a little bit and wait until we see a few more opened up and maybe the pack weight after Saudi Tots go out of packs and the Liga Portugal packs uh, are opened and those cards come into packs on Sunday. Maybe that could be a time where the pack weight just seems to be a little bit better and ends up paying out better. I don't know. That's going to be one thing we'll wait, have to kind of wait and see for uh, that I'm a little interested in because at the moment, those 8425s, most people did not have that good of luck from them yesterday, and it doesn't make me want to go uh, open that pack at the moment. I can't lie. So I'm just going to wait on that one. Let's talk fodder, though, for a second, because like we were just looking at those lightning rounds before they expired, a lot of the fodder cards are down as expected. They're not crazy low, though. 84 is at 3K, 85 is at 5.2, 86 is at 9.3, and 83s are about 1,000 coins a pop. Um, as you see, a lot of the cheapest cards by rating are these La Liga items, right? Because if you just had an 84 plus duo La Liga pack, a lot of Parejos, a lot of Depays, Oyarza Balls, Hazard, Aubameyang, Busquets, those are going to be the cards that are going to be packed a decent amount. So 86 is at 15K, by the way, that's just ridiculously cheap. Um, and tomorrow on Sunday, we'll probably have another Icon Moments upgrade pack. Since there was a 93 plus pack added to the code, it looks like we're going to have another week without the player pick. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Uh, but I think that fodder is, again, it, we're on the weekend. It's probably time for a club stock. And with the other SBCs that we could be seeing in the next few days, depending on how hype EA want to make things, I mean, so far, it's been like 9 out of 10, I would say, hype levels for this La Liga Tots team, if not even a little bit, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. It's been absolutely insane, I'll be honest. Um, you know, the content should keep rolling out this week. And that for me makes me want to stock some fodder. So I don't know if I'm going to end up doing it today or tomorrow, but in a part of this weekend, I would really recommend going out and stocking, uh, some fodder into your club. Now, last thing I want to talk about really quick, Saturday content. And a lot of people are going to be asking me, Nate, what about investing in league one specials, league one specials? Some of them did drop yesterday because of course the whole market dropped off. But this is really reminding me of the, it might look a little bit like Prem Tots, where on Prem Tots, 
a lot of the market dropped until Monday slash Tuesday. There was a lot of hype for people to go out and spend coins on upgrade packs, right? On upgrade packs because uh, of all the insane cards that were in packs. I think there might be some validity to thinking that would happen again this time around in this week with the out of pack specials for League One. They maybe would be their lowest at like Sunday or Monday time frame. But also, there's so many people that are just waiting to invest, and I think they know that they want to invest early. You're going to see people as early as today on Saturday starting to invest in some of those cards. So if you want to do that stuff, I would say maybe start to, you know, maybe find cards that are down a lot uh, in price from La Liga. Maybe some special cards that are down a lot in price, and maybe you can just start to buy a couple of them, right? Or start to pick and choose one or two cards that you might splash some coins on really early on. Um, I know that the Awar that I just looked at is a very popular one. The uh, Jelson Martins is going to be a very popular card that people will probably try to buy up here pretty soon. All I will say is be a little bit careful because I still think there's some more hype coming with La Liga team of the season. I don't think it's time to go out and buy those League One special cards just yet. I just think that there might be some of them that could start rising up from investors buying them since this is the time over the weekend last week when that started to happen. So I would be careful with those. I would be cautious, but I think that you could maybe start to make a couple plays there if you wanted to. But again, I'd be very careful. And the risk with that is the content that is being dropped right now for La Liga Tots is just cracked. So what an absolute crazy day that it was yesterday. The market's still going to be moving like mad. Um, we're going to try to make some more coins through it, though, as I do think today will, people will wake up on Saturday. They'll want to go out and they'll want to play some games with these team of the season cards. So that's kind of the video for today. I cannot lie. There's a lot going on. There's a lot happening with the market. I know some of you guys lost coins yesterday because of the Bundesliga stuff, because of the out-of-pack stuff, uh, but there was also a lot of coins to be made, and I think there's a lot of coins to be made as well. The one thing I will say today is watch for panic selling, and we always say this on Saturdays, watch for panic selling before the lightning rounds of 6 p.m. actually start because a lot of times what you see is people panic sell on Saturdays because they're afraid of the supply, but in actuality, there's not that much on Saturday. So if you see a lot of panic selling on any of the La Liga Tots cards, there could be some rebounds post 6 p.m. or post content drop time um, from that panic if you see a lot of panic. So that's just kind of something to watch out for today. But that's going to be the video. Hope you have a good Saturday. If you're grinding weekend league, good luck. I hope you get uh, really good reds. I've already seen somebody tweet me a red Vinny. Ridiculous, but May uh, the weekend league luck be with you on your rewards and in your in your matchmaking because we all know that you need any bit of luck you can get playing this game at this time of the year when everybody is sweating for the highest possible finish inside of foot champs. So if you enjoyed the video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down, comment down below what you think about La Liga Tots. I want to know your opinions. How cracked was it for you yesterday? I packed Fakir. If you see the number going up to 55, that's who I was able to pack from a saved up pack. We'll take it, right? But again, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Can't leave that out. It was Nate, the foot accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.